How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to show you guys some pelvic floor exercises that you can do if you're a woman or if you're a man. Again, it's not just for women, men can do it as well. And again, this is going to have a ton of benefits for both women and men. So I highly recommend you guys give these a try. So let's get started right now. Before we begin, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me or buying some cool fitness gear, have a look in my description box right now. The online personal training, you guys, is only 50 bucks a month. So let's get started. Where are the pelvic floor muscles? So we need to know this. We'll go over a little bit, of, a little bit about anatomy before I show you guys the, ex, the actual exercises. So the pelvic floor or pelvic diaphragm is made up of muscle fibers of the levator ani and the coccyx muscles, you guys, and some connective tissue as well. The pelvic floor separates the pelvic cavity above from the perineal region you guys so what does the pelvic floor muscles do it provides support for the pelvic viscera which is again just an organ and the bladder the intestines and the uterus it also maintains the urinary and the anal sphincters so it is responsible for birth by causing the fetus to rotate forwards to navigate through the pelvic girdle. It also helps to maintain optimal intra-abdominal pressure, you guys. So very important for when uh, women are giving birth. Uh, that's why it's very good to have strong pelvic floor muscles. Generally, what happens is after birth, some women may notice that their pelvic muscles do get a little bit weaker because of the fetus leaving the um, or because of the fetus, the baby leaving um, their women parts. So let's get started, you guys. The exercise. Also, for guys, uh, for the pelvic floor muscles, it's going to help you guys with urinary incontinence. If you guys have any of that, same for girls. And also, um, guys, it's going to help you last longer in bed. And also, it will help you, again, with bladder control. So let's go over the exercises right now. So the first exercise that we're going to do is going to be the split tabletop. Now, this exercise is phenomenal. All you're going to do is once you are in the tabletop position, which is simply just this, you guys, this is the tabletop position. So as you guys can see, um, my legs are bent in the air. Now, all we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to abduct our legs. So abduct just means to go away from the body. So we're just going to do this. Now this exercise is one of the best exercises you can do for your pelvic floor muscles. And again, pelvic floor, Kegel, same muscles being used, you guys. Really try to feel that muscle group being used. Phenomenal exercise, you guys. Basically, all you're doing is you're doing the splits from the side. I will show you guys another angle. So again, knees here, and all we're going to do is all we're going to do is we're going to abduct our legs that's all we're doing all we're doing is abduction you guys very easy very simple to do but it's gonna work the living crap out of your pelvic floor muscles so that's one exercise i highly recommend again just a tabletop position then doing abduction the next exercise some of you may have seen some of you may have not but all we're going to do is we're going to get in a a bird dog position which again some of you may have seen now what we're going to do is we're going to raise one arm and when we raise that arm we're going to raise the opposite leg so for example we'll do this and again this exercise phenomenal i love this exercise you can kind of think of it as a little bit of a yoga exercise as well and uh, this will work the pelvic muscles you guys trust me on that so the last exercise that I will show you guys that's going to help you is just going to be the body weight squat. The body weight squat is a phenomenal exercise to really, really hit home the pelvic floor muscle. And it's an amazing exercise to do after the two that I've just shown you. So to perform a proper body weight squat, you want your toes, you don't want them straight ahead. You kind of want them pointed out just a little bit. And you guys can see mine. You just want to point out just a little bit. You don't want them straight, just a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is the first part of the movement when we are performing the squat, it's a hip hinge movement, you guys. So a lot of people, what they do is they break at their knees. This is going to cause you knee problems. For example, do not do this when you're squatting. It's a hip hinge movement. So what you want to do is your hips come back. 
So pretend there's a wall back here and try to hit it with your butt. That's the hip hinge. So depending on the length of your torso compared to your femurs, again, I have super long femurs. I have a very short torso. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to hip hinge at the start quite a bit. So I'm gonna hip hinge. Once I hip hinge, then now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna complete the squat. Now when you're completing the squat, what you want to do is you want to abduct your legs. So again, what we're going to do, toes pointed out, we're gonna contract our core muscles, you guys. So when our ab erectus abdominal muscles, our six pack abs, they're contracted, our lower back's gonna be contracted, creating 360 degrees, you guys, of tension. Again, feet pointed out, we're gonna hip hinge a little bit, and then what we're gonna do when we come down for the squat, our legs are going to abduct like this. So again, and this is the proper way to squat, you guys. If any of you guys are getting problems with your knees, problems with your hips, this is the reason why. Depending, again, it's gonna depend on your femur length and your torso length. Generally, people will have extremely long uh, femurs, short torsos, or very long torsos, short femurs. Uh, squat based on that. And again, uh, another way to squat for body weight is try to create a tripod pressure with your feet. So what you, an easy way to do this is uh, just curve your toe, stick your toe into the ground like so. This is gonna create pressure on the outside, the heel, and at the start, at the top, you guys. That is the proper way to squat. So those are the three exercises that I recommend you guys. The reason why I kind of give you a good explanation of the squat is because I see a lot of beginners really uh, messing up the squat, the squat form. So I just thought I would give you guys a little more um, information on that. But end the video, those three exercises will allow you guys to develop and strengthen your pelvic floor muscles. And again, it doesn't have to be for just a woman. This will work for men as well. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Like the video, share it, follow me on Instagram, dylanberg999. Thank you guys so much.